You don't have to travel very far in order to witness some of our area's natural beauty. Some might even be in your own backyard. We're here to guide you to those areas and show you how to make a day into an adventure. So hop on board with us as we go out and about with Casey and Emily. As we made our way over to Draper, Virginia, we decided to stop by and was greeted with a warm welcome at the Draper Mercantile. Draper Mercantile has been the meeting place for 150 years now. Folks from the area would come over to either get supplies from the marketplace or just to catch up with friends. Sierra Waldron, who has been working at the Merc for two years now, let us know a little bit more about its rich history. The building is about 150 years old. Uh, the current, most current like date that we have um, for the building is 1885, and um, it's been a community gathering center uh, for about 100 years now, and um, it's try it tried to sustain uh, what people needed at the time as well. Um, there was a shop here at one time in Old Mercantile, and sold. We found a receipt that had. Um, a coffin, lemon, um, funeral, funeral wear, I suppose, and um, just one other thing. I think it was maybe like another fruit, um, but it kind of had a lot going on, and you could purchase a lot of different items as well. And back then, there was an old stove here. Uh, it made its way back here um, by some crazy way, and the stove. Um, used to be the center of like the gathering area on the main um, main part. People would tell stories around the stove, um, and it kind of made its way back here, which is very odd. It's on our stage now, and a lot of people that used to come here years ago talk about how they would tell stories around it and eat and socialize. Um, so the main focus now is community gathering again and um, an event space and. Um, socialization for the communities. So, Even now the Merc is keeping up with the theme of the old marketplace while adding on a few other qualities of their own, such as the Blue Door Cafe. My favorite and what I think we are the most famous for is the grilled pimento cheese. Um, it's delicious. Um, a lot of, um, we use locally made sourdough bread for all of our sandwiches. Um, we try to use local produce as well, and um, but we do anything from like burgers to we got a we have a new smoker out back, so we smoke our own pulled pork barbecue now, and do barbecue sandwiches, and um, like I said, burgers. Then then during the evening hours, we do offer a dinner menu. Our desserts are made from scratch. Um, yes. And they're delicious. We have a new baker, and she's done an amazing job. And um, we have cakes, different cakes every day. Friday is pie day, and so um, we have a variety of different pies every Friday. And um, um, then we have the ice cream, but all of the desserts are amazing. And then we've also started doing more pastries, uh, croissants and danishes and things like that. So those are going well. As Waldron walked us through all of the mercantile, she explained what there was to do here at the Merc. Our basic um, kind of weekly events range from, we have what we call Wine Down Friday. Um, it's just a nice dinner and uh, live music. So um, there's not a lot of places around this area that will, um, that have live entertainment. So we have a stage on the main area and we get bands every Friday night, and then we have a nice dinner, so it's very relaxing. Um, and then we have the Tabori Room, which is our overflow and event space. We've done bridal showers, birthday parties, uh, re wedding receptions. Uh, we've had actual weddings here as well. And um, so it kind of ranges. You could do a lot in here, so it's nice. Outside the cafe is the floor shop blooms. The flowers and smells will drive you wild as you walk into the shop. Bloom 
Williams is fairly new to the mercantile area, and Waldron said for the future, the owner Debbie Gardner, hopes to construct enough small shops to create almost a village that customers can walk through and enjoy. After exploring the top portion of the Merc, we made our way down to the Junction, which is the bike rental shop, and also carries other outdoor items, managed by Thomas Hash. Here at the Junction, we are located at mile marker 6 on the New River Trail, which is a 57 mile long rail trail that runs from Pulaski all the way into Galax. So we offer bike rental and repair and cater to our cyclists that pass through here. Uh, we have snacks and gifts and clothes and cold water and all the good stuff you need on day on the trail. And we're also located at about mile 366 on the Trans-American bike route. So we have upwards of 200, 250 cross-country cyclists that pass through our shop each year as well. So just catering to the traveling cyclists here. The junction happens to be right across from the New River Trail, so your visit to the Mercantile can make for a wonderful opportunity to go out and bike through some great sites. It was a rail bed. Um, it's been the center of the economy here for as long as it's been here. It's the reason why the Mercantile is here the, is the rail bed. Um, in the late 80s, they converted it over to a rail trail, a uh, really popular uh, rails and trail program. And it's a great resource here in our backyard. It runs for 39 miles alongside the New River. There's 30 trestles. There's two tunnels on the south end of the trail. Um, it's a really great family-friendly ride, nice and smooth, nice and flat. And uh, we offer bike rentals here. We can get the whole family out. We have kids' bikes, trailers, and a fleet of 25 specialized bikes for the trail. And if biking isn't for you, one of the junction's newest additions is the bearded lady fly fishing. Trips as well as wading trips. Uh, whether you fly fish in the past or this is your first go at it, we can accommodate you, get you out there, and get you the skills that you need to, to go out and have fun and experience the day on the New River. If you're looking for a down-to-earth day filled with relaxation and adventure, then the Draper Mercantile is just for you. From its friendly service to its country get-up, your trip to Draper will not leave you disappointed. So head on out to Draper Mercantile today to get a taste of the good life.